Welcome to another episode of Smart Learning. I am Dr. Vishnu. In this episode, I am going to talk to you about the friendship between ACE inhibitors and bradykinin and how it is good for you and how it is bad for you. So please make sure that you watch this video till the end. It's definitely going to keep you interested. See, ACE inhibitors prevent the bra breakdown of bradykinin. So bradykinin levels get elevated. So it is good for you in two ways and it is bad for you in two ways. Why it is good for you? Number one, when bradykinin gets elevated, it actually improves insulin resistance. So if you are having hypertension with diabetes or heart failure with diabetes, ACE inhibitor is a very good option. When bradykinin gets elevated, it has vasodilatory property. So it is good for reducing blood pressure and hypertension. But when ACE inhibitors increase bradykinin, there are two problems. Number one, bradykinin causes dry cuff as an adverse effect. So if you are having dry cuff, you may have to stop that medicine and switch over to angiotensin receptor blockers. Bradykinin causes angioedema as a very dangerous adverse effect. And in that case, you have to definitely stop the medicine and switch over to angiotensin receptor blockers. This is called smart learning. Connect the dots and learn smart.